What up, YouTube? Big T.O. Heavy Bad Boxing TV. Man, if you don't get your big goofy ass in here and hit the bag, hit that like button for your boy. That helps the channel. You know, I appreciate that love. Shout out to gang. The bag hitters, y'all know the count. Usual suspects, Tyree Celestine, D1's Boxing, Troy Jack, and not just subscribers, my members of the channel. Shout out John out the BX, the boogie down. Uh, and of course, Sean and Don, hold the goddamn phone. Now, if you catch me for the very first time, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most definitely hit that notification bell so you can get all the content, baby. Now, I got a special guest in the building, man. Oh, we go all the way. Hey, yo, we go back like car seats. Yes, and sir. I got to queue up my shit for my guy. Real quick, y'all got to understand, when I first started doing YouTube, this was one of the first cats that reached out to me, man. It was a bond off the rip. I got to welcome my guy, Rebel Life Boxing. Yeah, what up, man? <laughs> what, up, what up? Rebel Life, what up, fam? What's up, homie? What's going on with you? Man, I'm good, man. I'm chilling, and it's a pleasure to finally be getting to do this, man. And I think I'm going to call this... The sit down, all right? Then when you see, yeah. when I bring the, the, the fellas on, man, my family on, yeah. we're going to call that the sit down. We having a That's sit right. down, mafia style. No Brother doubt. Life, man, what's been good with you, man? What you been What you been getting into? Been living, man. You know, uh, today was a little hectic with the kids and shit like that, but you know, uh, they almost ran me into the dirt, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you know, a fellow, a fellow toddler. We got toddlers, man. The old fellas with the toddlers. <laughs> yeah, bro. Three years Wait. old, son. And, and it's almost like a terrible, like fuck the terrible tools, bro. It's like soon as she turned three, she got three. some other shit. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Blessings to the young queen, man. Yeah. And listen, what else? So uh, today, man, uh, on this episode of the sit down. We talking about Terrence Bud Crawford, so I had to call in the Bud Crawford specialist, the sharpshooter when it comes <laughs> to God. Bud Crawford. Shout out my guy Timmy's the best two punch drunk. He's also a huge Bud Crawford fan, as am I. Um, yeah. Terrence Bud Crawford. I think a lot of people feel like at this point he's probably getting froze out, right? Um, it's not going to be easy because he didn't want to do a multi-deal uh, uh, situation with the PBC. Um, there's not many other welterweights or even 54s out there outside of the PBC um, that's interesting enough for people to really want to see Bud Crawford fight them. Um, I got to ask you, man, with the landscape the way it is now and Bud Crawford being in the position he's in now, what do you see for Bud Crawford? Like, who would you like to see Bud Crawford actually fight next? Um, like I said, man, uh, there's one welterweight that I would like to see him fight, and I'm pretty sure everybody already know who that is. And then there's some 154s as far as welterweight. I want to see him fight Boots, but I don't want. I want to see Boots go up and fight him. You know, um, as far as 154. <laughs> Jamel Charlo is still champion in recess. I still want to see that. Um, Tim Zhu for sure. I still want to see how that will play out. Fandora, I want to see how Bud do against somebody that tall and lanky. Yeah. Um, Erickson Luke. It's a few fights, man. I know he ain't gonna fight all these dudes like that. But right. if I had a, if it was, if he had four more fights, I would have to say Books, uh, Jamel Charlo. Um, Tim Zhu, and I, I still want to see the rematch with him in Spain because I'm just curious to see how you know what I mean. Oh, you know, so everybody say to his fans, you know, he gonna be better at 154. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I don't know about this. How I feel about Spence. We should plan this another time. This nigga scared. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga might be scared to fight Bud again. He, he is, uh, listen, I agree. I love all of those fights. I definitely would love to see Bud Crawford mix it up. Mm -hmm. But then we got to we got the fantasy out the way. We got to bring in the business part when it comes to the business. Now you got to understand, Bud Crawford coming off a massive 
pay-per-view card with uh, Earl Spence completely washes him. His stock has risen. We've seen his social media numbers, and I don't know if you're a big fan of the social media and how that translates to ticket sales and pay-per-view buys, but mm-hmm. we've seen the big spike in his social media. Going into that fight, Earl Spence had more subscribers, more fan, uh, a bigger social media than Bud Crawford, but after he did Spence yeah. dirty, his numbers <laughs> went through the roof, yeah. right? So I do believe that there's a big, big um, demand to see Bud Crawford. But he doesn't have that deal in place with the PBC. It's going to be difficult for him to make any of these fights without the PBC say so. And for Bud Crawford, he's already told us who he wants. He wanted the winner of Fundor uh, uh, and Tim Zhu. It happens that Fundor somehow, some way, by the grace of God, came out of that fight the winner. Now, with Bud Crawford using his WBO super champ status to petition for that fight, he's supposed to be next. Right. Right. The PBC is unlikely to continue to work with Bud because they they he's not cooperating the way they want him to cooperate. Right. right. I mean, is is it safe to say that? Yep. Because if this thing was going the way it's supposed to go, but it's definitely next in line because of the WBO situation. Mm-hmm. We Can we agree to that? Absolutely. So let me ask you this. If the fun door fight is what's next for Bud Crawford, shouldn't the PBC be rolling out the red copy for Bud Crawford? And what do you make of their relationship? Yeah, it, they... In a perfect world, they should be rolling out the carpet for him. But now that I think about it, they ain't going to do it because, like you just said, he's not playing ball with him the way that they want him to. And he they, he just spanked their darling. You know what I mean? So I'm looking at it like they don't – Um, Errol Spence is the fucking – he was the flagship of the PBC, so to speak. And – yeah, they done crashed up their fucking car. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like literally, <laughs> and yeah. put them in the motherfucking shop. You know what I mean? And now they got to put new wheels on them. They put new wheels on them. Now they trying to roll. He he's out of the mechanic. Now they trying to roll his ass back out there again. Um, it ain't gonna work. And, and, and he wants he wants to move. Bud want to move the way he want to move. And if he gets his hands on all them belts again. Um, it's not gonna look good for them, man. So I think they just they know they don't want the same thing to happen. They don't want the repeat to happen, bro. Yeah, you know, bad for boxing, you know. Right. It's crazy. They can't they can't stick their hand up Bud Crawford ass like they can with Spence <laughs> yeah. and work that puppet. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. But right. at this point, it is career not willing to be a puppet, and he's standing on the square as a, uh, of course about being independent and having that co promotional deal. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I don't know if you uh, knew, but it was uh, said by Lukowicz that it was going to be tough to to negotiate with Bud, and that <clears throat> right, uh, it was going to be tough to negotiate with Bud, and that whole co promotional situation was dead. You know, what mm-hmm. I mean, he wasn't he wasn't going to be able to co promote. They're not giving him the Canelo or Tank Davis treatment. They don't care if right. he's a free agent. You get this, and that's it right. uh, for Bud Crawford. Man, I think is. You know, it sucks for Bud Crawford. But let me ask you this. With what he was able to accomplish, what he's done in the sport of boxing, what he did versus the Spence, is it fair for Bud Crawford to garner or to demand the kind of money he's asking for? Now, it's been reported that he's asking for at least $15 million guaranteed for the Fundora fight plus pay-per-view event. Now, and in my head, I'm like, well, if they giving Canelo Alvarez $35 million for somebody like a fucking Jaime Munguia, I, I don't see why not give Bud Crawford $15 million. Right. What do you think about that? Absolutely. Um, now, like I said, with the Canelo, he get away with all type of shit. Yeah. They just they, they let him slide and he could come back and re, renegotiate shit. And, you know what I mean? And I'm like, why? <laughs> and I'm like, yo, bro, is it because uh, 
Errol Spence was supposed to line up a, 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 a scrap with him, in which I'm hearing that might be a thing next year. That's what I'm hearing. You know, I heard other chairs yeah. talking about that too. So, um, hell yeah, he deserved that shit, man. Who the fuck? Who is Jaime Munguia? You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. And listen, listen, we 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 want to give Canelo his flowers. Yeah, he puts asses in seats. He does pay per view yeah. numbers. Oh yeah, for sure. But you got you got a brand new fan base that Bud Crawford just tapped into coming off this Spence win. I don't care what nobody say. Bud Crawford is hot. He hot as fish grease, and I think majority of the fan uh, of the boxing fan base want to see this brother fight. But you got other channels. I I ain't gonna say no names. You know what I mean? But they were talking about how the fuck Errol Spence. He's still the A side. He's still demanding shit. How he's still the A side and he lost. I'm like, oh God, yeah, whatever, bro. <laughs> and listen, I do think it's still a bag out there to be made with Earl Spence. That fan base in Dallas ain't going nowhere. If the chickens, yeah. chicken is cheap enough, you can do some big numbers in Dallas Stadium, AT and T Stadium. Correct. But uh, I'm a I'm a I'm a true believer of trying to keep what little bit of corner piece of integrity left in the sport of boxing, if it is any trying to keep that little shit intact and right. playing fair with everybody uh and if we was again like you said if it was uh, uh if we was gonna play fair and everything was the goal the way it's supposed to go bug crawford would definitely be next but now i wanted to touch on this next subject when it comes to bug crawford and being kind of being his own promoter uh being independent and working outside or, or behind the scenes to make these fights happen um i asked you if you heard about Bud Crawford potentially having these Saudi, the, the Saudi backing to make some of these fights. He said, no. And I told you that I was listening to uh shout out to boxing voice. You know I mean? I give people credit when they deserve it. Mm -hmm. Somebody called in and said, Bud was trying to make the fight with fun door and Saudi. And then I get further sort of confirmation or more speculation from Dante's boxing nation. Shout out Dante's boxing nation where he said he had this to say. And uh, I wanna, I thought I had it queued up. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 wait a minute, motherfucker. <laughs> Let me queue it up for you guys. <clears throat> Which is obviously the real reason why they don't want to fight Terrence Crawford because they know or they feel that's almost a guaranteed loss fighting against Terrence. So one of the more recent excuses, Samson, he was saying that it's going to be very difficult to negotiate with Terrence Crawford, et cetera, et cetera. It's so funny because as Samson was doing this interview, a Spanish interview, making these excuses, all of a sudden Crawford's attorney, he calls Samson while he's doing his live interview. And he says, we have an offer for you in Saudi Arabia. So this is what Samson said about this conversation. He said, Crawford's lawyer called me up, very respectful, and he said, look, I have an offer for you to fight in Saudi Arabia with Crawford and your fighter, Sebastian Fedora. And I said, look, I thank you very much, but I don't want to hear it because he's not going to be ready until November. I didn't say December, but it seems like until November. I mean, I didn't listen to the offer. I can't listen to it. I can't negotiate when my fighter is hurt, end quote. What? End quote. So, shout out Dante's Boston Nation. He's quoting this, and he says from a Spanish uh, channel, a Spanish network, where they was having this conversation with Lukowitz. And apparently, Bud Crawford lawyer calls him and is trying to make this fight with Fundora Saudi right now. Again, I told you I heard this is the second time I'm hearing this. It caught my eye when I saw the title. For Dante's Boxing Nation. And I'm like, okay, well, listen, if this is the second time I'm hearing it, it could be potentially some some truth behind it, right, Rev? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Now, with that being said, and Bud Crawford making his uh, his own attempts to get this fight done, uh I think at this point you could you could call it you kind of you can kind of call it blatant freezing Bud out. Blatant rejection of Bud Crawford to not even negotiate because you got to think they already got the news that Fundora is injured until September, November. You know that 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 news is out there. 
So Bud Crawford could be potentially trying to position himself to get that fight when the time is right. Yeah. But to not even want to hear the offer. Now, let me ask you, uh, Red, what do you make of this speculation? Um, I, as far as his, his, his lawyer reach, his attorney reaching out, I like that. Um, as far as Lipkowitz, whoever his name, I can never pronounce his name. Um, Lukowicz. <laughs> uh, yeah, Lukowicz. I'm like, yeah, November. I'm like, bro, he, he broke his, I, the suspension, you know, after they fight is that, was it six months? Yeah, That's, the commission gave him the medical suspension for six yeah. months. I'm like, damn. And plus, his nose was broken. So, I'm like, but you, why, why can't you still negotiate something though? You know what I mean? Like, exactly. Yeah. And I, another thing I'm thinking about is, um, Bud, because I'm like, do they want him to wait? Are they trying to wait him out because Bud ain't fought, bro, since July. So I'm like, I can't see him not taking another fight. That's going to be, to me, that's too long, bro. I mean, that'll be, yeah. what, a year and a half? Yeah. Now, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Since July make a year. Uh, yeah. Anything after November, man, you you right at a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that sounds like yeah, they definitely um trying to freeze them up. Definitely that's what they, they doing. Yeah, 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 yeah because... Errol, so, so like, go ahead. Go ahead, nah. So you say yeah. same with Arrow, what? Same with Arrow. So I'm like, Arrow hops in the ring and says what he says. So would it be the same thing if Arrow said they said they, if let's say Bud wasn't in the picture, he moved himself out. I wonder if then will magically that suspension be pushed up like three months, or if it it would be different for you know would they negotiate with Arrow if you know no. my boy's injured? Would you negotiate with Arrow? Right now, if if Bud wasn't in the picture, something ain't right. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And, and to me, it's believable for Bud Crawford to be trying to make these kind of moves because I remember it was reported he, he, he his team had already had uh, uh com um the thumbs up from Saudi if he wanted to do the fight with Chris Eubanks if that was a real thing. We come to right. find out it wasn't a real thing, but he did have that back, and that was confirmed. And it just makes sense to me for Bud Crawford to be knocking on other doors in order to get his particular fights done. But to me, right. I think uh, because the PBC, these guys are with the PBC, everybody with the PBC loves Al Heyman. They always yeah. shout out Al Heyman. It's going to be hard for anybody to turn coat on, yeah. on Al Heyman, you know what I'm saying, and make a move without his approval. Uh, I just think Bud is in a fucked up situation, man, because, again, coming off such a big win, man, it should be some nice big fights land, land, uh, yeah. lined up for him with the carpet rolled right out, man. Yeah. That's how I feel. Yo, I, Absolutely. You know, I'm another, another person I forgot to mention who I want to see Bud fight. I know a lot of people are like, why? But I just do, bro. Tank. I want to see him spark his little <laughs> ass. I, I would love to see that. Cause he, he, he said he will knock him out at welterweight, but I think Buzz say, "Hey, I um, I stay at welterweight for him." Like he he said, did. If I send his weed, let him come touch it. He <laughs> did, but them niggas ain't gonna feed Tank to no Bud Crow. Tank, <laughs> you can this another time. This nigga scared. Tank scared. Yeah, exactly. Tank scared as hell, bro. Yeah, ain't no fucking way. None. And then listen, I would love to see. Listen, that would be a mega fight. Yeah. If he could get tank in 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 you know, but I uh, man, that that that's the more I, the more and more I said, the more and more it sounds far fetched, bro. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Another fight though that people think is a little far fetched and probably would never happen that I think is maybe one of the reasons Bud is kind of still holding on to the belts. Uh, and I said this, and people was like, "No, nah, you ain't there's no way." But the T.O. fight is out there. That's a big money fight. You oh, know? Think, Lopez. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he uh, could make the kind of money he wants to make. Now, now, is that a realistic fight? Maybe that. But, you know, I think that's a money fight for him out there if he... Because he's insisting on holding these belts. I don't know why he's holding these belts. Uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe you got, a good, you got a reason why he might be holding on to these belts. Bro, I, I had made a video, bro. I've, I've been sitting there trying to figure out. I think 
we could be see. I think Boots might still be on the table, man. Maybe that could be why, bro. I'm thinking, like, cause who else, bro? Standing on this? Yeah. No, I'm thinking it's Boots, man. Somebody's got to be willing to pay bud for boots, though. That's the thing. And right. my boy made a good point. I can't remember who it was. I was on uh, Breaking Beats. But he said, um, Bud is holding the belts hostage until somebody pays him. And that's oh. about the only logical reason uh, I can see why he is holding on to the belts and holding shit up. Right. Like, somebody's going to have to pay me to take these goddamn belts. Ain't but if you wait them out long enough, they're going to strip them anyway. Yeah, but, right. I can understand him for at least a year, year and a half, holding on to the motherfuckers until somebody pay him. Right. I didn't think about that. That makes sense. That makes yeah. sense, right? Yeah. Uh, to to hold on to that for some kind of leverage. But my thing is, man, Bud coming off this fight, thirty six years old. He'll be thirty seven in September. Not many fights left. He's already alluded to to retirement. He wants the big money fights. He wants the big fights. But somebody's got to be willing to put them together for Bud. And as of right now, there's no telling who the fuck Bud fights next. So let me ask you this, Rebel Life. If you had to guess out of the out of two names that Bud Crawford would be fighting next, who would it be? What fights could possibly get done next for Bud Crawford? Um, When you think about it, if... If the PBC is giving him a hard time like this, maybe it could be somebody that's not PBC. But then, you know, it was crazy because when it came to people, remember how they used to say, yo, PBC and Bud is hard to work together, but then he fought Sean Porter. So I was like, yeah. kind of like, you know what I'm saying? So um, if, if we're going to leave PBC in the spectrum, uh, I would say, Maybe a, uh, and he said he went the big fights, right? Well, well, he went the dudes with the belts and and the big money fights, pretty much. So it's all about legacy and bread for my boy Bud. I respect it, right? Um, damn, bro. Tim Zoo, maybe. Um, he probably fight Tim Zoo before he fight for Andorra. I think that probably happened before for Andorra, bro. Yeah. I don't think Bud gonna hey. wait it out. But, but but wait a minute! Don't Tim Zoo ain't he on a six month suspension too, right? Both of them. Nah, he on a six to ten week suspension. Okay, because he just had to weeks. cut. He got the ten stitches now, so okay. Yeah, he yeah he he, he gonna be out for like a month and a half, maybe two months. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's either Tim Zoo or uh man. I would like to see Boots get pulled up and wait. That would be crazy. But they Bozy. I don't think they want to fight to um Terrence Crawford though, man. Um who boots? Yeah, I don't think I think boots want to fight him, but I don't think yeah. they want boots to fight him. <laughs> you know what I mean? They've been, they been calling for it, man. I think they do want that fight, but again, it's just a matter of who's gonna pay Bud the money that he yeah. needs for the fight. And yeah. and that's my whole thing. You can't be mad at Bud Crawford, especially coming off this Spence fight, for asking for 15 million, bro. Right. Everybody right. wants to see Bud fight, bro. Right, you, you know what I mean. I Hell, think that's a solid investment in Bud Crawford now, yeah. Yeah. coming off the Spence fight, fifteen million. Right. In my opinion, I know people yeah. gonna shoot it down, but I just think that's a that's a bargain for Bud Crawford right now. It is. You know what I mean? He, actually, he took twenty five to fight Spence. So yeah, yeah. and then he he's Absolutely. already doing the five right now. Fifty. He, he he taking a pay cut. You right? Yeah, absolutely. It's a bargain. Yeah. Um. I'm going to say this and we'll wrap it up. I think depending on what the WBA BO does uh -huh. now that, you know, it's already been confirmed. He's uses uh, super champ status, activate that mandatory for the WBO um, five days after the fight. They supposed to have started negotiations with Bud Crawford 180 days to actually make the fight. Now, I don't know how it's going to work with this medical suspension given by the commission. Um, maybe Lukowitz or somebody has to talk to them and say, hey, listen, look at the situation we in before you actually strip them of the WBO. Mm -hmm. But that's going that ultimately, I believe that that uh, decision comes down to the WBO. And if yeah. they strip him, then I think Bud would have to fight the number one contender and a Josh Kelly for the vacant WBO belt. And I think more than likely 
that could potentially be the next opponent for Bud. I just don't see PBC willing to work with Bud without him signing like a multi-fight deal. Right. And having him in some kind of position that they want him to be in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah that's true. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Maybe he fights the WBO mandatory, depending on how this WBO situation works out. Other than that, I don't I don't see who how who's gonna get a fight done with Bud Crawford. That's a big ass question mark. And the time ticking. And as far as Tim Zugo, that's an in-house fight with Earl Spence. I think Tim Zoo, uh, Earl Spence get Tim Zoo when he heals up before Bud Crawford. Right, right. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you yeah, agree with that? Yeah, like I said, the way it's looking, man, that's their darling, bro. Um, yeah. And with, the, with a belt or without a belt, that's a, still a decent fight for Tim Zoo yeah, and, and Earl yeah, Spence. Yeah, yeah, that's a decent yeah. fight, man. I think, and, I, I ain't gonna lie, though. I think right now, um, I think Tim Zoo gets him, though. I think I think Zoo get him, man. Oh, me I too. Do. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Hey, listen, especially looking at that Fondora fight, I don't care what nobody say. Tim Zoo won a lot of new fans yeah. in that Fondora fight. So he's yeah. got the clout, and that fight with Earl Spence name on the marquee is big, but I do think he gets Earl Spence, bro. Yeah, I think yeah, he beats him. He gets him, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think he yeah. get him. I think he might get him bad too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He gonna, he gonna I don't want to shit on Spence because I still believe he a dog. Right. But man, that's some punishment you took in your last fight and you compound that with everything else you've been through. Yeah. Tim Zoo yeah. younger, fresher, and got some real 54 power. Yeah. Psst. He ain't been active either. So yeah, you, all of that shit, bro. Yeah, all man. Of that shit, bro. The, the only way Bud is going to get those fight, the only way he's going to really be able to like solidify anything with them is if he he bend and say fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Let me take yeah. a couple. Of, that's the only way I could think. Yeah. About he got to bend the knee. He got to yeah. bend the knee. Yeah. Kiss the ring. He got to kiss the ring. Yeah, unfortunately, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, unfortunately, but for Bud, but also we got to see how that his his connect his Saudi Arabia connect pan out as well. Not about that. Hopefully they can get something done with that. All yeah. right, man. Um, incredible conversation. I probably didn't want it to last this long, but man, <laughs> it's a good time. And hopefully no, you'll come back and rock out with your boy, man. All day, uh, baby, you know that. I truly appreciate having you in here. You got some shout outs, man. You wanna you wanna throw out there and plug yourself? Yeah, hey, I want to shout out first and foremost the bro heavy bag boxing TV. You know, we 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 from. You know, I'm from New York, but. We share state now, you know, VA all yes, day, baby. No you doubt. Know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna have to come down to the Hampton Roads when it get a little hotter. I'm definitely coming down there, bro. We're gonna we're gonna hey, talk come about rock that. with me. Come rock yes, with sir. me. Yes, sir. <laughs> um shout out E Thriller to Black Picasso. Picasso. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh um, my man Tough Glove Boxing. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, man. Um it's so many, bro. So many channels. Hey. I can't Get them all out, man. But yo, you know, y'all can check me out on, you know, my YouTube channel, Rebel Life Boxing. Uh, my Twitter, go check out my my Twitter account, Rebel Life Boxing, man. You know, I'm just getting started. I gotta get my background like my man Bo shit, man. I, I gotta get it like that. Right. <laughs> oh, man. No doubt, man. No doubt. I appreciate you, man. My guy, Rebel Life Boxing. Yeah. That's all I got for y'all on this one, man. The, very, the second episode of the sit down featuring my guy, Rubber Life Boxing. I appreciate y'all. Y'all know the, the, the drill, Big T.O., Heavy Bad Boxing TV. I ain't got Roger with me, but you know the quote, man. Hmm. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing. Box. We out of here. <laughs>